So before we start coding and connecting to our database, we'll need to download some different things. We'll need to download a tool so that we can see what's inside our database and we'll need some different DLL files so that we can make Unity communicate with our database. So the first thing I would need you to download is called a SQLite Manager. And the reason that we need this manager is because we need to see what's inside our database and we need to create some different statements so that we can insert stuff in our database and read it out again. So basically we don't need this manager to be able to work with our database in Unity, but the manager will make it way easier for us to understand what's inside our database and it will make it easier for us to create the different statements that we need to communicate with the database. So the manager is simply just a tool that will create some code for us or um, help us create some code so that we can use it inside Unity. If you're not interested in downloading the manager and installing it, well then you can simply just skip the part where you install it and then follow along and copy the code or write the code from the screen in the tutorial when I'm writing it and copying it. But I'm going to use the manager to create the SQLite statements because it will make it easier for you to understand. So the manager I'm going to use is inside Firefox or it's uh, an add-on to Firefox, uh, the Firefox browser. Um, there are different managers out there, there are lots of lots of different managers, but the one that I like the most and the one that I think is easiest to work with is um, SQLite manager for Firefox. So if you don't have the Firefox browser, you'll need to go um, on Google and just write download Mozilla Firefox and then you should easily be able to find the download link there. When you have installed the Firefox browser, you'll need to go to the add-ons page. You can either go to it down here or click the lines up here and then find the add-ons. In here you'll need to search for SQLite Manager and then you'll see under available add-ons it will pop up here and then you can simply click the install button. When you have installed it, uh, you'll need to open it up and you can open it by going to the blue area here and inside the blue area here you can click right click and say menu bar and then you should be able to find it under tools. So if you don't have it under tools here it's because you need to restart the browser so just simply uh, close Firefox down and then open it again. And if you go to tools now well then you should be able to see the SQLite manager here. Um, then you can open it up and this is the manager that we are going to, to use for our work. Uh, but I'm going to leave it right now because we will not look at it in this video, we'll look at it in the next video. But now you have installed it and you're ready to use it. So the next thing we'll need to do is to download the correct version of our SQLite DLL. And the SQLite DLL version is based on the version of Unity you're using. And there are two different versions. There's a 32-bit version and there is a 64-bit version. And the 64-bit version should be the most used version because I think that's the version that it actually choose to download when you go to the download page. Um, if you have a 32-bit version, you will of course have to download the 32-bit version of the DLL. But I have provided you with two download links in the description below the video and one download link states 32-bit and the other one states 64-bit and you simply have to click the link that fits uh, your Unity editor. So to figure out what version of the Unity editor you have, you can simply just right click on Unity and open file location. And then you are inside the install folder of Unity. If you have the 64-bit, then the, you have this little file, this PDB file called Unity underscore x64. And if you don't have that, you can always check up here on the file location it has installed on by default in Windows that is. Um, I'm not sure about Mac what the path is there but you can see that it's installed in program files Unity editor. If it was a 32-bit version it will be installed in program files x86 just like this because x86 is for um, the 32-bit um, CPU architecture. So that's how you can check it. So now you saw that I have a 64-bit, so I have the 64-bit and I would need to go to the link for the 64-bit, which is this link here. Oh, sorry, that was not the right one. This link. And this is the 64-bit version. So I'll just click this li um, little link here to download the correct version. And when I have downloaded it, I'll get this little um, file here called SQLite3 
dash 64 DLL. So I will need to use this DLL, so I will have to extract it onto my desktop so that I can use it later. If we have the 32-bit version, well, then you can go to the 32-bit version download page. And here you'll have to go to the headline, say, pre-compiled binaries for Windows. And in here, in the middle, we have the, this SQLite DLL Win32 x86. You have to click that download link and then wait for it to download. And then you'll need to extract both these files. At least as, as far as I can see, you'll need to use both files. So just extract both these DLLs here, if you have 32-bit, that is. So when you have your files, see, just move these in here. If you have the 32-bit version, you will need these two files here. And if you have the 64-bit version, you will simply only need this one file. So let's just delete these because I have 64-bit. And this SQLite free that 64 dll will need to be renamed. So you will need to rename your 64 dll into SQLite 3 so it doesn't have that dash 64 because um, Unity is looking for a file called SQLite3.dll. So that's one of the DLL files we will need, um, or two of the files we'll need if we have 32 bit. Um, then we'll need to find two other, um, other files, and th these files are already on our computer. So we'll have to open C programs here. And then we'll have to go to program files x86, or sorry, x86 if you have a 32 bit version of Unity, and program files if you have 64 bit version. So I have 64 bit, so I go to program files, and then I'll have to find the Unity folder here. And inside the Unity folder, I'll have to go to editor, and inside editor, um, I will simply have to go to data. And then I'll have to go to Mono. And inside the Mono folder, we'll have to go to, to um, Lip. Let's see here, Lip. And in here, we'll have to go to Mono again. And then we'll have to go to 2.0. And um, then we'll have to find some DLL files here. So we'll have to find something called system.data.dll here. Have to copy that one from here on your desktop. And when you've copied the system.data DLL, you'll need to find something called mono. Let's see if I can find it, mono.data.sqlite. There we go. So then you'll need to find this mono.data.sqlite DLL and copy it and paste it out here and then close it. Okay, so now you have either four files or three files depending on your version of, uh, of, of Unity. So we have the system.data DLL, we have the mono data SQLite DLL, and we have the SQLite free DLL, and if you had the 32-bit, you had one extra file. Then you'll need to create your Unity project, so create a new project here. New project, I'm just going to create one on my... I just just written here, um, high score tutorial, and I'm just going to leave it with a 2D game here. Going to create this project. So in this project, I will have to add the new files. Um, let's just see if I can move them. I'll make it a little easier for me. So all these new files here, I'll have to put inside my asset folder. So now I have all my, my free files, and then I'll need to create a new um, a, a, a new folder called plugins inside the asset folder and move all these into it. So right click on the asset folder, click create, new folder, and call the folder plugins, and then just move all these free new files into the plugins folder. So now we have set up our project and we have downloaded the tools that we'll need to be able to work with a SQLite database. So in the next video, we will start um, creating our database so that we can store our high scores.